Alright, yeah, right, go get your flip flop. I got some bubbles. Brad, okay? Mm. Yeah. It was a little too bratty still. Really? Mm -hmm. and, I mean, originally I don't like brats because of the taste, but the whole skin and texture on the inside is also what I don't like. I mean, it's, mm -hmm. it's completely the different skin. than a hot dog. It is. It's a harder skin. I usually, with these, <laughs> I usually peel the skin off. <laughs> sure that this is really hot yet. <laughs> uh oh. I mean, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna bill you for 20 hours. Does that work? Oh, is that, it wasn't a customer. No. Hot, hot, hot. We have a drummer. So where about are you guys going to? Way to be a drummer. <laughs> Oh, you are going to, going to be a drummer. Well, when were you going again? I think Gabby's you show Tad your, your drumming uh, skills. I think Gabby's going to be a saleswoman. Okay. Show Mr. Yeah. Tad your drumming okay, skills from her there, from our garage sale incident. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> we were, I was having a garage sale, <laughs> and there was uh, my neighbor had <laughs> given me a cat of some sort to sell. <laughs> and told me I could keep. She gave me a bunch of stuff and told me I could keep the money from it. So Gabby goes up to this lady. She's four, remember? I never would have thought of this at four. She goes, "So do you like cats?" <laughs> and the lady goes, "Yes, I love cats. I have two at home." Well, I have a cat. Can I show her to you? And she brings her to this statue, cat statue. This is my cat, and I'm selling her today. Would you like to buy her? <laughs> <laughs> no way! <laughs> my mom and I too much time with you. <laughs> <laughs> my mom and I almost, literally, almost fell over. <laughs> we were Ooh, like, "What? Funny. Take your daughter to work day." That's right. You get her on that next year. <laughs> <laughs> Your boss really be like, "I hire her. <laughs> <laughs> she's she's hired." I'm you, she can't work. Get that sport. Think of a sales tactic <laughs> like that. You know I what I'm saying? I have no idea. <laughs> Yeah. Make sure um, she goes in with a little dirt on her. We were doing the um <laughs> Okay. We were doing the assessment of her yesterday er, yesterday, yeah. And um I still think that she has the out of sight, out of mind principle. And um so the lady takes a toy that she's found that she's interested in and likes and she takes this belt piece of material and she drops it over it, right? And Isabella looks at it, she picks it up, she drops it, and then she picks up the toy. 
And I was like, okay, that was a fleet that was little, that was a fleeting little thing because let me tell you, when I hide the remote, she doesn't keep trying to go look for the remote. <laughs> but granted, I also say, nope, this is mommy's remote. You don't get this remote. And then I put it away. Um, and so she's like, well, just for mom's little, you know, whatever. So then she waits till Isabella looks away, puts the toy and puts the cloth there. Isabella looks oh, back, picks up the cloth and goes, no, picks up the toy. Yeah, I'll go. Um, and, but I'm still not believing it. I'm still, you no, know, no, no, no. My kid's not old enough for that. It's still out of sight, out of mind. So then she takes the toy and she puts it behind the clipboard. And so she, the toy's there and then she puts the clipboard in front of it. So out of sight, out of mind. She's all like, huh? And then she tries looking above the clipboard for her toy. And then, um, so she puts the toy like right here on the side of the clipboard. So she's trying to get up, you know, and reach over it, but she can't. So then she sits back down and she looks at it and she's kind of all like, you know, like pouty, yeah. And then so she's looking at the clipboard and then all of a sudden she goes and goes around it and grabs it. I'm all like, where the heck did it? What? What? What was that? I'm all like, I'm like, dude, you can see the wheels turning in her mind. And I'm just all like, no, 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 no way, no way. Uh uh. <laughs> You know, so I'm just like, you know, sometimes these kids are so much smarter than you give them credit for. No, don't wait. When Gabby was young, we had a like a complicated baby gate, and she, by God, she didn't figure that thing out. And if she takes the no after you tell her it's your remote and and no, like, and she doesn't go after it, you were like the luckiest parent alive. Because I'm mm. telling you, anything that I said no to. She was just determined to get. No, because I told her no. She's in the smacking thing now where she smacks your face. And I tell her no to that. And she takes a look. She puts her arms down. She looks at me. And she <laughs> yeah. It doesn't matter. It, didn't, it still doesn't. Either. It doesn't matter what you tell Gabby she can't have. She's just. Yeah. It's just frustrating. I think what the thing was was originally she realized. I don't have enough whatever I need to, to get over there to get it, so she was content with that. That's good. But as soon as she has, like, as soon as she's like, well, by golly, I can climb over you, Mom, and I can go and get that, <laughs> because she does that. And that was part of our issue, is that she wouldn't really crawl, because if it, if it took effort to get to it, and there was something else closer, she would say, well, forget that, I'm just going to play with this over here. You know, she was, into Len's word, Lazy. <laughs> See, my daughter's always been very determined. <laughs> no, th there was there was a potential there that she was just. It's gonna take too much effort for me to get over there, so I'll just leave it, mom. That's what Delen thinks. <laughs> well, my niece didn't crawl or walk until she was like 16 or 17 months because she was lazy, and she never did crawl first. She just went straight to walking. Well. Does anybody want any of this now? I'll take the ice cream back off. Ice cream? Yes, you can have some. Yes, you're done here. Yeah, yeah. But you can probably just have a cup plate. of ice cream. Oh, root beer float. You want a couple of chips? You don't like root beer float. Here, Gabby, I, I no, here. You, you can make a happy float. 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 I want your but I tell you what, if you get some hand. just plain ice cream, you can share it with Isabella. It's the grubby that threw her off. Well, how about I just take a little bit and mix it with the rest of her strawberries? It'd be strawberry ice cream. That's fine. Strawberry! Just do a little, a little bit, not a lot. Alright, do you wanna? Because I'll, I'll put too much. Just do a little. Half, half, like think of it as like maybe like um a big teaspoon or something. <laughs> There's this thing in the One Step magazine that me and one light. <laughs> it's um, it's a screen like you stick it in a door, but I think it. I mean, it might work for those type of doors too. I don't know, but stick it in a door, and it has a flap down the center. And so your kids just kind of peel it open and walk 